said in the, a Walking Dead, a lot of the zombies are just like. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. And I think they put that noise in when there's not even a zombie there. I think they're just trying to avoid the the stereotypical. Like, yeah. I, I think they just they're so afraid that they're going to look cliche. They they do stuff like that. And I can't blame them. No, yeah. I can't blame them at all. But you know what? You're not watching Walking Dead. You're watching Voice of the Republic. This is Ed. This is Mike. And this is Carl. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back. So uh, you want to go ahead and finish up uh, talking about Sabine then real quick? No. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Lord, not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's, go, let's continue without Mike. It's just me and you, Carl. Let's just, let's just, <laughs> let's just hang out. I'll just, turn, I'll just turn in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> I would say ear. <laughs> I'd say earmuffs, but yeah, earmuffs, Mike. Spoilers. Come on. I'm just worried about it being very poochy. Yeah, like she's going to come out on a hoverboard and then. Yeah, like you know, it's <laughs> poochy. Where you know, oh, dude. What is poochy? What is this? It's from the, the Simpsons. It's from the Simpsons. They yeah. they needed they developed a character. That appeals to the now crowd, and it wasn't wasn't he somehow tied to a soda, and he had like crazy glasses, and everything was hey dude, and he he, he had like the flannel extreme... shirt like tied around his waist, and <laughs> he did extreme sports. So like, whenever you see something that's that's kind of like over the top, and it's like totally supposed to be cool for cool sake, and it's cool to suck you in, it's very yep. Pretty. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> And, and that's that is kind of the the whole vibe I get from her. Like, and again, here's the worst part though: is we're basing all this on like two to three minute character clips meant to right. sell, meant like, to sell. Yeah, just these vine- like commercial vignettes. So, exactly. Yeah. I think she's as guilty as any other character they've shown so far as trying to, you know, target the heartstrings, target the nostalgia, target the market, get the kids on board, get the old folks on board. You know. And Hera might have been specifically designed for people like me. I, sure. Like the very thing that like I, I might be falling for it. Yeah. Who yeah. Knows? So if everybody seems too extreme, we need someone who's like not as extreme. It's like people are always complaining that everyone's a Jedi and everyone's cool and everyone has armor. So let's give them someone that doesn't like that. Yeah. Right. Well, the, Zeb to me to me Zeb and Hera are are your are for your older crowd. Yeah. But, I mean, with Zeb, because you guys mentioned it last week, I'm surprised you haven't mentioned it at all this time, is that he's pulled right out of the, the, Chub- the original Chewbacca design. Yeah. Both, yeah, we just ran out of time. Concepts. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, that's not too original, but he's just like the big... He's just a big dude. I mean, he's Chewbacca. He's Chewbacca with smarts. He's a good yeah. vocabulary. Um, so, I mean, that's not too exciting to me. When he's like, oh, I think everybody will be really surprised by his voice. And he's like, my name's Zeb. I'm like, I'm not surprised by that voice at all. If he's like, <laughs> you guys, you don't know how much I hate the Empire. Now that would surprise me. <laughs> I'd watch that shit. I'd love to see him go like, I'll go around the back and set the detonators. And like, you know, Ezra's like, <laughs> look at the guy like, really? <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> that's re- that's really funny. <laughs> that should have gone that way. Yeah, I, w- I would have watched it. Yeah, everybody's gonna watch that shit. Yeah, but this is not Venture Brothers. This is Star Wars. Yeah, We're, oh. they're not going to give the super hot chick a, a deep, gravelly voice like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're not just going to do stuff just to fuck with people. So. Yeah. Oh, we want so much, Carl. We so do. we're never. So I'm. I'm taking it that we're never going to learn the fate of um, Snips. 
I haven't watched the lost episodes yet, so I don't know if they addressed that or not. Yeah. And, and I saw like this whole big thread on uh, like the Force.net or something where it's like, oh, well, Anakin would never kill her because they're too close. I'm like, bullshit. Bullshit. And, like he <laughs> he killed bad man. Yeah, he, he killed he, twenty children. And then he like he tried to kill Ben. He tried to kill Obi Wan. You know, I mean, it's like who's supposed to be his best friend and father figure at this point. Or yeah, Big just because she's a teenager in a midriff that you want to fuck doesn't mean he's not going to kill her. No. Right. He tried to kill or successfully kill people that were way more like, <laughs> emotionally attached to him. So. <laughs> yeah, Vader just that's his job. Vader don't give a fuck. Yeah. Star Wars Honey Badger. He, that's right. So. He cut his head off. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> he cut his own hand. <laughs> He's got no hand, no legs. He's burnt. He don't give a shit. He's just going to wake up and keep going. <laughs> high ground. Fuck high ground. I don't give a shit. <laughs> He's fucking disgusting. Oh, my God. Let's, let's reach out to that guy and see if he'll do a, a voiceover for that <laughs> scene. Please. <laughs> just just narrate the <laughs> Anakin versus Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> little oh. kids little kids hiding? He don't give a fuck. <laughs> I eat that shit for breakfast. Maybe he's gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. And that leaves us with the last person, uh, the Inquisitor. Yes. Um, because, you know, what Star Wars story would be complete without some really bad person? Because, you know, because Vader and the Empire and the Emperor aren't enough. Well, they you know, need a bad person that isn't the Vader, the Emperor, or the Vader. So what are they supposed to do? And, you know, I think, it, like, I kind of agree with, with, with what they're doing, uh, but... I, I don't know if I like so much like how they're doing it because the big thing about Buffy season one and Joss Whedon always said this was they needed a bad guy but he couldn't be a bad guy that failed every week. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. he needed like hirelings and stuff. Like you needed a really big bad guy that at the end of the season you could be like, boom, he's undefeated. Here comes the challenger, undefeated. It's three hundred and seventy-five pounds, the master. You know, it's like <laughs> so. If you have like Vader, it's going to get too sitcommy. So Vader's always trying to track down these like you know five or six like rebels. You know that like mm -hmm. aren't Luke, Leia, and Han and everything. You know he's going to look like a schmo by the end of that first season. You know it's. Plus, it would be Vader chasing down. They would set it up as Vader's chasing down every Vader, every Jedi lead that came his way. You know, every tingling in the Force. <gasps> there could be a Jedi in that bar. You know, so I guess you would have agents. I just was kind of disappointed. disappointed it was Sith. <laughs> it's yet another Sith. You just told us a million times there's a rule of two. Yeah. But I know that video game. I still can't remember the name of that goddamn game. Um. But, I mean, that kind of ruined the rule of two for me. The Force Unleashed? Is that the one Force you're talking Unleashed. about? Force Unleashed. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, is, that one didn't really ruin it because that was uh, Vader trying to set up that he had his own apprentice getting ready to overthrow the Emperor. Because this is before he knew that his kids had survived and everything like that. So You apologist. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. Was like, of all the EU, I thought the, 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 the first Unleashed game, second one was garbage. But the first one actually had kind of a cool story until he started pulling Star Destroyers out of the sky, so... <laughs> yeah. um, oh, that was the second one? No, that that was in the first one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is the first one had a lot of problems, but the story was actually pretty sound in it, I thought. But actually, my apologist view for that game was that um, he didn't actually pull the Star Destroyers from the sky. They made the mistake of entering atmosphere. They're not designed to fly on in over planets like. Yeah. Like a fucking 747, he just fell. That's called gravity. That's not the force. <laughs> it was guided, <laughs> guided disastrous fall. That's all yeah. it was. It was a coincidence that made this guy feel like an empowered dark side Jedi. <laughs> did you see what I did? Did you see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So the Inquisitor. I, yeah, I think it's it's a a good idea. Story-wise, to have a character like that, but like you yeah. said, I, I don't think we need another Sith guy. Like his his lightsaber looks stupid. I think they just wanted someone in black armor with lights on it with a red lightsaber, like Vader light is pretty much what they wanted. You know, yeah, tastes great, yeah. less filling. 
But they yeah, also at first have... glance, you. Never Go ahead. Uh, oh, just, yeah. okay. Um, you know, they've they've already established we've got a Jedi. He's a Force user, and now we've got young dude. Oh, guess what? He's got Force powers he doesn't understand. So you almost have no choice but to have a Sith Force user come into the equation. It's kind mm -hmm. of disappointing. Just seems like a lot of Force users. At first glance, he looks like the um that uh, little doll that rides around on the bicycle in the Saw movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He does. Like he's got like white mime makeup on and like little red high peaks or something like that. Uh, and Jigsaw. I didn't I didn't watch any Jigsaw. I didn't watch his movie. Jigsaw, yeah. I didn't watch his little video, but um I I don't know, I dug him. I said it earlier. I mean, I I dug the the, the visual of him because he kind of uh, looks sort of my chemical romance. <laughs> you know, it's not that I just wanted to use that joke, but he really just kind of does. Yeah. Looks kind of hot topic and I dig that. He looks like an incomplete pinhead. It was an incomplete pinhead, yeah. Maybe he looks like an early pinhead. Or an inhead. <laughs> but yeah, I honestly like it was funny because at first, like when I first saw that, like he was the thing that was like, Oh, this is awful. Then I'm like, all right, well, okay, maybe not. And like as it's going on, like I'm finding things that I hate more than that. <laughs> and it's making him seem less egregious of of a <laughs> A terrible idea. So I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all together, so far from what they... It's it's early. It's too far to tell. We haven't seen anything in the story. Um, I can only compare it to Clone Wars, which I just can't imagine sitting down to watch anytime soon. I will once I get decent recommendations from other people, but I'm not going to go start to finish and watch that crap again. I just... I can't. Um, but this one because it doesn't revolve around main characters so much, uh, these are new characters, it's interesting. It is. It does seem a little more geared towards kids, so it's going to be lighter, it's going to be more about adventure. Um, that's kind of probably why these characters are more about uh, being, you know, they're not going to be like, I don't know, gritty or as deep, you know. They seem to finally have found their focus. Like, yeah. it's not the, hey, it's a kid show, but we're going to tear everybody apart. Mercilessly. Well, and then, and then they, they also don't have later. don't have clones. They don't have wet droids to, yeah. to throw around anymore. So. Yeah, there's th right, right. People, it, it's actual people who matter, um, and it's stormtroopers that everybody loves to shoot anyway. So I think it's got potential to be a, a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll check it out. Yeah, I will. At least it looks so. kind of Disney and and. Uh, it, it, Definitely, definitely looks like you're a um, younger person. Fair. Maybe I'm just in, maybe I'm projecting that from the whole Disney vibe. Well, you know, but I I don't think it's any more Disney or young kid oriented than Clone Wars ever was either. Like, it looks Clone more more geared towards young folks in a, in a successful way. Uh, I but uh, yeah, I guess so. But I just, I get, think Clone Wars was just always so schizophrenic in its approach. To like, yeah. are we kids or are we adult entertainment? So maybe they finally actually just kind of took that, and I think maybe I'll be able to forgive that more <laughs> since they're straight up just taking like that approach. So I don't know. Mm. Well, we're gonna find out this fall on Disney XD. Fall 2014. Yeah. Um, but we do have some feedback. We do. So and it and we know who it's from. That's actually from the, the man who kind of, in a way, suggested this topic, Jamie Baca. So let's see if he has something to say about Rebels or if he's going to be talking about something completely unrelated. Yeah. Ed, Mike, and Dr. Watkins. It's been so, so very long since I've been able to contact you. I've been having a dreadful time with your phoning devices. I thought I'd just send this directly to you. You see, Master Baca has been speaking with you all again, and how you're all going to be addressing these new adventures on your show. Well, one of these characters is a Jedi, as addressed by the Doctor, but I thought they were all killed off by the... Stormtroopers. 
here, I must warn the others, and they're gone. I must say that I don't quite like this Inquisitor character, and the main reason why is because he scored a 2010 Hasbro General Grievous lightsaber and didn't call in a Kessel Run to your ship. Well, I managed to score one of those right here. Let's see, how do I turn this? <laughs> that is the best call, dude. That was so damn good. Oh, I love it. Oh, our, uh I forgot his name. <laughs> BJ. Uh, oh, yeah, it was BJ something. Yeah. Oh, no. BJB4. BJB4. <laughs> oh, our other favorite droid, BJB4. <laughs> <laughs> Had himself a little accident. <laughs> that's great. Ah, uh, that's great, yeah. <laughs> well, Jamie thank Bob, you, Jamie. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, thanks a lot for sending that in. I uh, hope you're not in too bad a shape with that lightsaber accident. Mm. And thanks for making me a doctor. I, I accept. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It really, it's really funny because when I sent the uh, microphone to Mike for his <laughs> Christmas gift, I actually addressed it to Dr. Mike Wagner. I believe, uh, yeah. I was actually going to address it to, like, to, like Dr. Funkenstein Wagner. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, but I was afraid like something would happen and when he get there. I was gonna give him some crazy like make him sound like he's in P Funk or something. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool, cool. Now you're the doctor. Now I'm the doctor. Well, as you just heard, um, you know, our listeners do send us MP3s as well as uh, regular old voicemails. So, you know, you can send those anytime. Voice of mail at G Voice of Mail. <laughs> Voice of Mail at G Rev. G reps my street name. I don't know if you've heard. Um, <laughs> voice, of, voice of mail at hotbod dot com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, voice. voice of rep at gmail dot com. Uh, but if you don't feel like going through all that trouble, you don't have to do crazy impressions every time. Um, but the Republicom is four zero seven four zero nine eight seven four nine, and just speak your mind. Go for it. Let it all out. We're here for you. Kinda, yeah. When and always, if you're listening to this on audio, we're on YouTube. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you can get the audio version. Uh, we're actually now on Stitcher, uh, which oh, yeah. is streaming on iOS and Android devices. So Stitcher, Stitcher.com, uh, if you search for Voice of the Republic, you'll find us there. And I've been w waiting for us to finally get to Stitcher. God. I know. It's all you Hasn't talk about. everyone? Yeah, I know. But we'll put a link up to Stitcher on the uh, on our website, which is uh, www.vorradio.com, so you mm -hmm. can get links to everything you just heard and more, including Stitcher. Stitcher's going to make basically turn Twitter into uh, MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make it its bitch. That's yeah. right. Bitch. <laughs> Well, right on. Uh, so we will be back. Oh, before we go, I uh, just want to let you know that if you do have any other feedback, you don't feel like talking to us, that's cool. We understand. Um, leave a comment. We want to know what you're feeling, what you're thinking about uh, this show on YouTube or iTunes. And uh, if you don't mind, you could leave a comment on iTunes and a rating like our pal Clay CMU did. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll say his name, his ridiculous, crazy name. Don't know who he is. We'll say so it. If you comment and rate, we might say your ridiculous name too. Yeah. Make it really nuts, though. Really go for it. Don't hold back. <laughs> cool. Uh, so we'll be back next week, and we're going to talk about Muppets. Because <laughs> the new movie is coming out, so why not talk about something that we all love? Totally. Totally. Who doesn't love Muppets? Come on. Terrible people. That's who doesn't love Muppets. Al-Qaeda doesn't love Muppets. No, he doesn't. Al-Qaeda. That's what I said, Al-Qaeda. Cicada. Sabotage. Say sabotage. Say sabotage. Cool. So until next week with the Muppet Show, may the force be with... What? Ass. That was terrible. Oh, I could have done that. Is that a Muppet voice?
It was supposed to be. But then I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, and I just kind of did them all at the same time, I guess. No. Oh, dude, do you ever do this, like, where you're singing in the car and you don't know whether you want to sing the main vocal or the harmony, and it sounds like you're tone deaf. Anyone listening, it's got to be tone deaf. But you're like, no, I'm not. I'm just, I can't figure out whether or not I want to sing the harmony or the, yeah. Did you ever do that? Yes. Okay, cool. Of course.